So let's start by uh, using your plastic pan removal tool or your hands for this vehicle. And on the bottom left corner, uh, pull up on the silver panel here. And there's four clips behind this whole entire panel, so it pops off really easy, as you'll see here. But you might want to use your panel tool to actually get a good grip behind it first to pull it off. Uh, once you do that, go ahead and remove two Molex plugs from behind the dash panel. Just push in the tabs right here and pull straight outwards. So there's four bolts holding the stereo panel in. It's a seven millimeter. I tried to show you here, but it didn't come out very well, but it's a seven millimeter and there's four of them. Um, if you guys are looking to uh, figure out how to install stereo in this, um, after this video is over, I go over what parts you need, like the wiring harness, uh, antenna adapter, the stereo kit, the steering wheel control interface, which allows you to keep your steering wheel controls, uh, and also like the adapter to keep your, uh, if, your, if your truck has it, the rear view camera. So make sure you stay tuned for that if you guys need help with that, okay? So uh, here we go, four bolts. So after you move this last bolt and you try to prime the stereo, there's still two clips on the middle left and right. So that's why it feels kind of hard to get it out because there's actually two clips in there. So all these connectors are the same to release. Just push down on the clip right there and just pull straight backwards and all three of these harnesses will come out with no problem. So looking behind there, this top piece is a tuner box, and the piece right below it is a is an OnStar module, and of course the CD player is right below that. So this is what the kit will look like. Uh, it's for a single DIN or double DIN. Um, so it doesn't matter what stereo came out; it just matters what size you're putting in. And the most common ones are the, the single DIN and the double DIN. So the whole. Um, that hole right there is actually a double din size, and then half of that will be a single din. So this is the kit what you would need. So uh, Metro has two kits. The first one is for if you have a Pioneer Next 8-inch radio. That's a very uncommon one. But this one right here is a very common one that everyone's going to use. Uh, it fits any double din or single din stereo. Uh, I'll put a link to the description uh, of, to Amazon in, uh, in the area below, okay? So uh, if it's the 1500s, 2014 to 2018, and so on and so on. Next, you're going to need an antenna adapter. And the one you're going to need is this 40 dash EU55. Uh, it's a powered antenna, so uh, you have to provide power in order for the antenna to work properly. So next, a thing you'll need to replace your stereo is going to be this uh, backup camera retention harness. So if your truck came with a stock uh, backup camera, you'll need this part in order to keep that with your new stereo. And I'll put a link also in the description area. So this first harness is designed for non-amplified vehicles and you have OnStar. So if you meet those two criteria, you're going to want this interface here. Um, I'm also, I'll also make it easy for you guys in the description area to go over it to make sure you guys get the right harness, okay? But that's the criteria for those two. Non-amplified and you have your OnStar. So uh, the next one here, uh, basically it's for if you have a amplified sound system, um, the most factory amplifier basically so it also retains OnStar and all your Bluetooth and chimes and and whatnot but this is for if you have a factory amplifier now this third one is if you have 
a basic sound system with no amplifier and you don't have OnStar. It's basically like the, the cheapy model, but if you don't have OnStar and you don't have an amplified system, then this is the one you want to get. So um, next, if you want to keep that factory USB plug-in at the um, armrest in the center console, you're going to want to get this product right here. So the last product you're going to need is this steering wheel control interface. This allows you to keep your steering wheel controls with the new stereo pudding you're putting in. So if you want to keep them, this AXSWC is the one you want to get. Thank you for watching. If you had any questions, uh, leave a comment below. I'll try to answer them. Thank you.